This is AQA A-Level Chemistry question. It is from paper three. It's based on required practical assessments. And this one is focused on RPA9. I'm going to recommend that you pause, have a go at each section of this for yourself first, and then review your answers when you're done. So let's take a look at part A and B. Take a look at part C. We have part D. And we have part E. So if you're ready, let's start taking a look at the answers. A question about sulfuric acid and its salts. And the first job is to draw, draw the displayed formula of a molecule of H2SO4. Now, this is also relevant for when you are doing mechanisms back in year 12. Um, so do bear that in mind. Electrophilic addition, you need to be familiar with the structure. But display formula, you don't always draw. We've got one S, we put that in the centre. We have two double bond O's coming off there, and we have got two single bond O's coming off there. Now, here's the crucial bit. You've been asked for the display formula. So don't just put OH's, you have to show the bond to the H in each case. In aqueous solution, sulfuric acid acts as a strong acid. The sulfuric acid dissociates to form HSO4 minus ions and H plus ions. HSO4 minus ions acts as a weak acid and dissociates to form SO42 minus ions and H plus ions. Give an equation to show each of those stages. All of the information you need is actually provided. We're told in the first instance, H2SO4 breaks down into HSO4 minus and H plus. We're told in the second step, HSO4 minus will break down into SO42 minus and H plus. Just read those sentences and you can get to those answers. Part C, a student is required to make 250 centimeter cubed of an aqueous solution that contains an accurately measured mass of sodium hydrogen sulfate. Describe the method that the student should use to make this solution. Four marks, quite a lot that you need to think about here, but you need to be familiar with this process. First of all, we're gonna weigh the solid and transfer. But we can't just say that. We need to specify how. Now, there are different ways that you can do it. You might weigh by difference. You weigh the weighing boat. You weigh the weighing boat plus solid, and then you weigh the weighing boat plus any residue after you've transferred it. You might weigh it and then do washings, or you might weigh it directly into the container. Now, from there, we have to think about where we're going to go next. We've got our solid. We're making a solution. So we are going to dissolve it, but we dissolve in the minimum volume of water. It's important that we don't go to the full 250 because we've got to deal with other things later, like washings and transfer. Transfer those washings into the 250 centimeter cubed volumetric flask. So you pour in what you've got fully dissolved. Then you do washings of your apparatus, of your glass rod, of your beaker, of your conical flask, whatever it is that you've used and transfer that in. Once you've got all of that in with your washings, you carefully make it up to the mark. Remember, base of the meniscus on the line in the volumetric flask. And then you're going to invert the flask or shape the flask with a lid in, obviously. And that gets you to your standard solution. Moving on, part D, a solution that contains 605 milligrams of sodium hydrogen sulfate in 100 cm cubed of solution has a pH of 1.72. Calculate the value of Ka for the hydrogen sulfate ion that is behaving as a weak acid. Give your answer to three sig figs and state the units. Really important you read those last two lines because it's easy to miss the simplest marks after doing all of the hard work. Now we've been given the pH, so if we've got pH, we can do 10 to the negative pH to find our concentration of H plus ions, which comes to 0 0.0191 mole dm to the minus three. Moles of NaHSO4. Well, we're gonna take our 605 milligrams. We're gonna convert it to grams, so 0 0.605 grams, and we're going to divide that by the MR of NaHSO4, obviously calculated direct from the periodic table. 0.605 over 120.1 takes us to 5.04 by 10 to the minus three moles. My initial concentration of sodium hydrogen sulfate 
is going to be equal to the initial concentration of HSO4- minus because it's going to fully dissociate. And that means that my concentration of HSO4 minus is 5.04 by 10 to the minus 3. But we're going to multiply that by 10 because we're not using a tighter value. We're using the volume that we've made. That takes us to 5.04 by 10 to the minus 2. From there, I take my Ka expression. Ka is H plus times SO4 over HSO4 minus. I've got my 0 .09, 0 0.0191 for my H plus. I haven't got my SO4 minus, but actually I can make an assumption that when it dissociates, it will give one H plus and one SO4 minus. That means H plus concentration is equal to SO4 minus concentration. So I can actually do 0 0.0191 squared. I'm going to divide that by 5.04 by 10 to the minus 2, my initial moles. Take away the amount that have reacted with the H plus, 1.91 by 10 to the minus 2. And that is going to take me to 1.17 by 10 to to the minus 2. Units are mole dm to the minus 3. You can work that out by taking your concentrations. Um, got mole dm to the minus 3 squared over mole dm to the minus 3. Okay, moving on to part E. Final part of the question. Some sodium sulfate is dissolved in a sample of solution from part D. Explain why this increases the pH of the solution. Well, here's the equation. And now we're talking about moving things. So we're thinking about it as an equilibrium. So I've put the equilibrium sign in. The equilibrium, if I add more sodium sulfate, is going to try to decrease the concentration of sulfate ions. It's going to shift the equilibrium to the left. That means we are decreasing the concentration of H+. And remember, if we decrease the concentration of H+, it makes it a weaker acid. That takes it closer to 7, so the pH increases. That takes us to the end of this question. Thank you for listening, and goodbye.